Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to demonstrate how to repair a refrigerator defrost timer. This is a typical defrost timer switch. First and foremost, we talk about how this defrost timer works. Basically, this is a switch. It switch refrigerator compressor to make it cool the refrigerator and after period of time, it toggle the switch and activate the defrost heater. Let's see what is inside of this timer switch. Just unscrew these two screws. I remove these two screws off camera. First I open this lid. You can see here, this is a motor. This motor spin the set of gear wheels to keep the timing and switching between frosting and defrosting. Normally 6 to 8 hours frosting cycle and then switch it into 20-30 minute defrost period. So this switch doing this all along the way. When your refrigerator is not cooling or not defrosting, this switch could be the main reason. Okay, let's see the other side. I take off this lid. You can see there are several spinning gears and these copper plates are the switches. By spinning these gear wheels change the contraction of these copper plates to toggle the switch. So what can cause to defect this timer switch? Number one, the bad motor could cause to stop this switch to functioning. Number two, if these spin gears are broken or if they are out of track that could affect for the function in this switch number three if corroded or oxidized these copper plates lose the contraction and current flow number four here is a capacitor if this capacitor is defected then motor will not spin properly now I will explain how you can repair this timer switch at home by yourself. First you can check this motor is defected or not. For that take your multimeter and check the resistance of the motor winding. Here is my multimeter. I put the settings into ohm settings and 20 kilo ohms. Take your multimeter leads and measure the resistance between these two pins. You can see there are 3.7 kilo ohms. This motor indicate good resistance value that means good motor. Okay, next we have to visually inspect these spinning gears. If these gear wheels are broken or out of track, then it could affect to the functioning of this switch. So you can do it by visual inspect. Is there any faulty or any damaged gear wheel? Uh, I done it off camera. These gear wheels are okay. There is no any problem. And same times you can look for the corrosion or oxide between these copper plates. But in my case, those pins are in good condition. No any corrosions or oxide. Okay, we have checked the motor, spinning gears and the copper plates. All those are in a good condition. Now only remain this capacitor. We have to check this capacitor is faulty or not. For that, we have to provide the power into these pins and check if this motor is spinning or not. Okay, let's see and I will power it up off camera and we will see what is going on with this switch. So already I have connected the wire lines. So let's see uh, is it work or not. 
Okay, I turn on the switch from the wall. So be careful when you are working with the 220 volts main line. So it could be dangerous. And you can see no any spinning movement of the gear wheels. So this switch is not working. Okay, I will switch off the wall line and before do anything else to remove this pin connection first we have to discharge this capacitor normally you know when you use a capacitor it could store a voltage and if we touch it could bring us a electrical shock to discharge this capacitor use this kind of insulated screwdriver and keep it across the pins and touch them okay I done it already but we didn't see anything else normally when a capacitor is being discharged we can see a small electrical shock or a small electrical spark with the sound but here nothing happened so we can understand this capacitor is not a good one okay I have bought the same type of capacitor here it is very same like the existing capacitor so if you are buying a capacitor for your defrost timer you have to check the values on the capacitor and check all the figures and buy same type of capacitor so now what I am going to do is I am connecting this capacitor into this switch uh, but at this moment I am not going to remove the old capacitor I just plug this capacitor between these two pins like this this is just for the demonstrate purpose okay it is connected now I will switch it on from the wall okay here you can see now motor is spinning gear wheels are spinning so you can understand the capacitor was defected when we installed a new capacitor it start to work most of this type of timers defected by the capacitor by the time this capacitor goes bad and then motor stop to work so you can easily repair by yourself at home just replace a new capacitor you can see now motor is spinning okay I stop the switch from the wall now before touch anything else as I said before we have to we have to discharge the capacitor so put the screwdriver across the capacitor pins make sure it should be an insulated one Hope you heard a little spark sound. Okay, now this capacitor is discharged. I have a few other defrost timers. So let's check them also. What is the main cause to defect these timers? So I take this timer and we will check it first. I have to unscrew these two screws okay I removed the top lid I visually inspected those spinning gears and the copper plates off camera there was no any sign of bad or damaged gear wheels or any corrosion or oxide between the copper plates so we will check this switch also for that I have to power it up okay connected the wires and let's see is there any spinning when I start the switch okay I turn on the wall switch and there is no any spinning movement but if you hear closely you can hear uh, some noises that uh, motor is trying to spinning but not spinning 
hope you can hear it okay uh, let's try to put a new capacitor between those two pins i just turn off the power from the wall and then same times i have to discharge this capacitor again and again i remind you before touch any pins or any wire just discharge the capacitor so i touch those two pins but you can see nothing happened so this capacitor is bad okay i take this new capacitor and put it between these two legs okay now i turn it from the wall yes you can see gear wheels start to spin so this motor start to spinning so all these two defrost timers were defected by the capacitor so that is the main cause could affect to this kind of timer if you have experience with a bad timer you can replace the capacitor by yourself and repair it before replace the capacitor just visually inspect is there any damage or broken gear wheels or bad copper pins and you can same times you can check the motor resistance t to verify the motor is working okay i stop from it wall now and before removes these wires and touch the pins i am going to discharge the capacitor okay hope you heard the spark sound so now this capacitor is discharged it is safe to remove and touch thank you for watching hope this video will help you to fix it your defrost timer at home by yourself